Hey everyone and welcome back to Tiny Zoo. Today, basically live from Spain, I'm recording that from Spain, so hence this episode will actually a little be, a bit shorter than usual. But we are going to bring in the lovely little prairie dog. And I really thought about this quite a long time, how I want to do this, what I want to do and so on and so forth. And I really like the idea that people can go down here and check the um, alligators from down there. The problem though being is that I want to do something similar with the prairie dogs as well. And I am going to do this right over on the other side. I'm just going to open Open everything up and put some education stuff down and also some donation bins because we forgot that and you guys were so kind to remind me of that so let's grab this donation bin and basically put it everywhere where we can find a spot basically because we need money you know all the money for the good food for the animals I'm going to put these things where people stand it's not that busy back here so let's just put that all down and I want to use these things as well to put the um, education sound thingies down. So I think this is the basic thing we can do. Look at all these broken down vending machines. I, I got so many mechanics, but they don't do shit. I don't know why they they really don't do the stuff they should do. Anyways, um, let's go to the educational stuff down here. That's the ambient speaker. This is the educational speaker. Look at that. There's basically no education at all in this area. Um, okay, let's quickly put them down. I think there's no habitat around here. Spotted protester. Wait, why do we even have protesters in the zoo in the first place? Let's see our animals first of all. Welfare. Oh my god, so you are basically... Wait, but why are you, why are you having such a bad time? Is it stress? Is it still stress over here? I think it, it might be still... Oh god. Why do they still have so much stress? I changed all the things and they still do have so much stress. Okay, well, we're going, going to wait for that. But first of all, let's quickly check if our animals are in general. Oh my god. Okay, so this might be why... This is also because they have all stress, right? Okay, so this is not good at all. Um, they are way too many in the habitat. So this is why. So we're going to get rid of those two, first of all. Um, and send them... No, let's say quick trade. That should be fine. So, oh god, okay. I've got so many issues here. I did not even notice. Okay, so they are all doing good. Let's go all down to the exhibit animals. And we've only put us here. Let's quickly sell them all and just keep two. I'm just going to keep the best ones. Well, they are basically all the same. So I can just, well, keep the youngest ones, 1.4. Let's keep those two. So these two, uh, we've got one more snake, so we can get rid of this one. We've got a couple of Gila monsters as well. So I'm also going to keep those two, I guess. That's fine. None of these are pregnant. That's also fine. Camels are doing okay -ish too. There are a couple of spiders around as well. Let's get rid of the spiders. So I'm going to keep those salmon downs there. But, you know, once we have it, we can get rid of them and send them all to the... Oh, wait, we also had quick trade for them available. That's in the update, right? I forgot about this. Anyhow, so let's quick trade them over here. Confirm that. And then let's check our overall animal welfare. Okay, they do have a lot of stress, it seems, right? Enrichment is okay, but the stress seems to be the problem. You know what we do? We first of all will get rid of some of them and just keep some of the younger ones. And then we have to, well, deal with it later on. I'm gonna keep, well, we need a certain size for the pack, so let's keep those. But we can just release all of these to the wild to get also some conservation credits. If the game did not crash on us, no, it didn't. Okay, gonna release them. Okay, well, that should be fine for the moment. I'm going to pause the game just to avoid any... Oh, wait, I'm not going to pause it now because that will not really make things better. Um, let's go back to facilities and there is the educational speaker again. Oh, wait, we had that here so we can... No, I don't want to have the palm tree. It doesn't really help us. Okay, let's put the alligator down and increase the volume area. Okay, so I'm going to put another one right on this thing and hide this more or less in here somewhat visible like this and no power okay we don't have any power over here we should definitely check that and gonna put the other one in this space awesome okay but we don't have any power so we should get wait we do have the solar power down here so why is that not oh okay because we don't have any power on this side you know what we're just going to bring down another solar power area down there Go down and have another one here. Okay, let's put that thing somewhere connected to the pathway. 
Is it going to connect? There you go. This is going to connect here with a little step, whatever. It doesn't really, okay, this one can then just be deleted because it has no power, but it's broken down. How does that even function? How does this even function? I have no clue at all. Okay, now we've got all the pregnant, pregnant animals and stuff. Uh, we can just quickly, ah, oh, it's gonna get cloudy. Okay, let's keep it a little bit quicker so we can have this thing in the sun real quick. And 9 a.m. in the morning. I want to have it a bit later in the day, um, so that hopefully helps a bit. Look at that! All the all the litter. Why is there so much litter? Let's just put some some bins around here as well, so that they don't litter all the way and stuff, you know. And I wanted this this thing is going to be our prairie dog habitat. This one's going to be awesome. Um, I'm still wondering if I should make this side the prairie dog habitat though. I think I like this idea more to have it here. You know what? We, we do this and then this is going to be where you can go down to witness them. I think this is the better idea, okay? Let's put it that way and we're going to build... Oh, I'm not really certain. But this thing in the middle could be also like a nice little food court and stuff, you know? No, we are going to do it this way, yes. Okay, so first things first, I'm just gonna dig it down here so we have this little hole. Wait, uh, just I'm gonna do this a bit more like so. I'm not sure how much exactly it should be, but... We will see this in a bit. So can we make a tunnel going over here? I just want to make sure that the pathway can go down because that's all I need to know. As soon as the pathway goes beyond, we can go on and this is basically what we need. Okay, so this is it. This is nice, but I think it's not really enough, you know? Let me just do this all into soil or, or sand. I don't know, sand, soil, doesn't matter, just not long grass. Um, but, 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 let's just do this even. Why can I not? What is happening here? There you go. Okay, so this is nice. Um, I'm quite certain there is no path available down here, right? No, not yet. Also, no railings, please. No, no railings, I said. Okay, so let's do it that way. Okay, so um, pathing terrain goes even further down a little. Hello? Okay, you can you can go a bit downer like this. What is going on here? I can't really click and it's just really laggy for whatever reason. There you go. Let me just put a path down. Okay, how much could I go higher? Oh, quite significantly though. Um, okay, let's do it this way and then just raise the terrain so we see it somewhat aligning. I think that is somewhat fine. And now let's do the terrain again. Because, hey, wait a second, why? What is this? What is this weird thing? There's something super weird happening here. I really can't. Uh, okay. Okay, it seems to be just a bit broken down here. I'm just gonna make this bigger. Maybe this works. Okay, so for whatever reason, there this tool is broken. And I've got no clue why. This is so weird. This is really, really weird. Okay, now I, I just could do it, but it's not the right height, right? It's definitely not the right height, it's this height. There you go, now it works. That was super weird, actually, why it didn't work. Okay, so, um, before you're worried, I'm not going to make the whole habitat like this, but what I'm going to do is, I'm just, whoop, yeah, we will close that off later, but let's just dig that all the way here, and then people can go down. And I'm really hoping that this is going to... Yes, it fits. Okay, it fits if it sits. Do I have tunneling on or something? No, I don't. Okay, so let's just do this and bring the path through here. Somewhat like so. And the thing is, I'm going to try to do it like so. And, you know, the idea is to have some things to look up, you know, but the problem is we can only fake them somehow because if we build like a path or something higher, it will not look good because then you have to build a path and, you know, it, it's just going to be broken. Um, but the idea is that they can go beyond and then see the animals. So what we are going to do, we're just going to close that off now and then look at this. It's all going to vanish. Awesome. So this is all gone. And this is going to be the prairie dog uh, area down here. And we're just even going to raise the background a little. So to make it a bit sloped. I think the slope will look cool. Somewhat like this. A bit sloped. Okay, this is this is too much. But I'm going to do it this way. And just wait. I wanted to smooth it. Not like this. Okay. So this is all good. Um, just smooth it a bit here. 
and just push a few couple things higher up to make it really like a you know that they can really move as in a prairie and then we're gonna make like a wonderful uh, backlog from stones and since this is the back side i'm going to make the entrance to the habitat actually on this side let me just where can i put this hey wait there, there was a connection a couple of seconds ago uh all right why was it so weird I mean, it's okay to have it here, but it's... Why can I not connect? Is this... Is there, like... Ah, okay, this is because of that thing. Okay, where could I do it? I could I could not do it anywhere else than here. So, I will then basically do that. I'm going to put the habitat gate on this side. And just... Why is it not... Okay. Is it because it's too... Wait, wait, wait. Can I go beyond and... Uh, this is because of the path thing here. You know what, I'm just gonna delete the path on this side then, because we don't need to go that far in anyway. So let's go here, and now that should be doable again. Let's just put a barrier, and uh, where is this? Where is this barrier? Uh, I wanted to have the wooden one. Okay, now it still doesn't work. Okay, I'm gonna put it here, never mind. I'm just going to put this here. And then I have the whole way over there as like a habitat. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to make like a... Um, am I going to copy the same design? No, I'm not. I'm not. I was about to think, you know, if I should take the same design as I had in Yosemite. But I think, you know what? I'm just going to take a little bit of a swoop in, swoop in little, little concrete fencing here. Uh, like this. And now it just walks perfectly fine okay this should be done and now let's see if we can connect this all the way just make it a little bit less there you go awesome because now i can just basically hello hello i think my mouse i, I just have another mouse with me here in spain and i think the mouse is just not really working that well because ah there you go i just have to press it a lot harder for whatever reason uh oh yeah and i just forgot to do it with all of them. Okay, well, do that again. Duh, thank you. And lower it down. Yeah, well, that can actually stay up. Whatever. It's not a fence, though, that we have to maintain. This is the only thing that I really don't like about this fence. Okay. Um, but what I would like to have is, like, just make that, like, a glass one. And that one a glass one, too. And this is... This should be fine. On this side, you know, that it's, like, the really good thing. And we're gonna make, like, a nice-looking rock background. I think this should be really good. And we need, like, have a little shelter on this side. But for the moment being, that is all good. Now, what we need to do... We need to go to the smallest thing here. And then we go down into the tunnel. And we just take these areas. And we are just going to dig straight up from here, you know. Just do that. And then... Uh, wait. This is... Why is this not working? I just want to go and why can I not hello I'm a bit confused why can I not go through here oh this is okay well that was stupid okay well we can just do it that way and then you have got one hole and we can have like another hole here hole in one and we've got the other one here right is there like, like the path down here yes it's somewhere over there okay nice so this is this is what we have over here so we've got these things to look through and what we're going to do we are going to search for glass pieces now let's go for glass and then we're going to just have the blueprints and actually do we have a round thing i think we, we just don't really have a round domey thing this is way too big right yeah uh, we don't really have like a dome dome do we do we have to build this on our own <laughs> i don't want to do this I don't want to do this. I want to have like, I thought we had, but we don't. Like we don't have that round, or am I missing out on one? Ah, uh, this one is way too big though. Why is it so big? Okay, Um, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to sink them in and then they will appear smaller than they actually are, but it, it doesn't really matter, you know? We can, we can just do it here and then just copy one over. And, oh god, it's like a nightmare with this mouse. It's really a nightmare. Hello. And click there. And click there. I have to press that so hard. What is this? I don't even know. It's almost like, you know, the, but actually the clicks just work fine. So I'm, I'm a bit confused. Anyhow, so we're just going to bring this down like this, you know. One. 
I'm gonna copy this one over to uh, and we're gonna copy this one more I think it's even good to have it that big you know so they really cover these things nicely there you go awesome and what we're going to do we are going to make this rock around these corners you know just press that how oh god <laughs> uh, press it so hard you know now I'm gonna make this soil you know this way I oh, love it okay cool we've done that and now we can just finish off the barrier and then really make sure to just design the habitat a little bit over here uh, to again not keep it super long I really have to ensure that you know I'm not making that episode so long otherwise my wife and the baby will be pretty mad at me I don't know maybe you even heard it in the background a little bit she got her food so she's happy for a while now but she does need to go to bed soon so you know today wasn't that good of a weather so we decided to do that but tomorrow we'll actually go to Valencia and we are going to go in a aquarium so i'm really looking forward to that this is not really working at all well, whatever okay so this is it mm, and i'm gonna quickly deliver um them so let's go here we set all the filters and go to prairie dog i'm really not sure the click actually works pretty well here but it just ah oh, look at that we've got more a lot more listings 17 for such a good yes i must so have it i must so have it what about this one it's not that good, but this one is good again. So let's do that again. But we need some female ones. That one is okay. Decent. Um, yeah, let's start off with four. Do we have like another good female? I'm not going to pay that much for them. But this is a lot better. 220. That's fine. Okay, let's start off with these four lovely animals. One, two, three, four. Send them. Send them to the zoo. Oh, there you go. And but you know what it could also be the internet over here is freaking bad. So maybe maybe this is the reason why. Um, so let's type in prairie as well. And say bluebirds off. Oh, we've got a couple of stuff already. Nice. Um, if I put that down here, it's gonna break everything, right? Oh no, it's it's not. That's that's actually fairly decent. Okay, so that pipe here is going to be here. Um, the ball can be anywhere. But it's gonna break it again so I'm just going to do it that way first and the game is unpaused isn't it yeah it is um some bubbles up here holy crap no uh bum bum I I have no words for that I really do have no words for this um okay so they are nearly delivered so I'm just going to put the bedding already here so this is gonna be where the house is going to be so look before they start running around Stop it. Okay, so I just wanted to have that one in. Oops, yeah, we can have a little look at this wonderful animal real quick. Look at that. Let's just wait until the glitter is gone. There you go. Oh, look at you. You're really good. You're really nice looking. Nice. I love it. And Richmond is already in, but what I want to do is this. So let's just go down to these things and disable the blueprints actually because we don't need blueprints. But what we do need is like a wonderful rocky facade in the background, you know? And hence, I'm just going to do this, and you know what, I'm just going to do ra random rotation. This is going to help me create this, oh look, this is really, really cool stuff now. <laughs> I love that. Ah, oh, I, I forgot that we have it now, but this is going to help a lot. You can still adjust it yourself, but you can also just use the randomize. Oh, look at this, guys. I love it. The ball is still in there, but I'm just going to... Oh, I love that. I just love it. You can just keep on clicking to make this look a lot more natural now. So basically what you can do, we can just do this, you know, and then just alter the alter the height a little here. <laughs> I, I really do like that. It's just giving you such a natural feeling in no time and you just need to click like a madman. And you obviously still need to have a bit of control down here, you know, just to make sure it's not looking super unnatural. I mean, the trick about this always is to um, make sure that you still keep a little bit of control, you know, just keep a little bit of control um, to make it it's still doable. Um, but it just already looks, well, that, that area looks still pretty crap. So we can still do this. 
and do this and just have some bigger ones in here. I'm gonna put also some plants in between and then it, it won't look so weird anymore. So also we need some rocks here and there in the habitat actually. Look, that already comes together pretty nicely. So what we need to do though is I need to just have this background here. Um, and this time I need to, I need, I actually need a toggle for that. I just really need a toggle. Um, so this is that, I'm just gonna make it this way. And just gonna bring that down like so. Awesome. And now I can just keep on doing things with a rock like so. And just rotate that quite a bit. Okay, nice one. I just wanna make sure that we have like the back area here. It's kinda nice, you know, just put a bigger bolt here so that they can't really climb on this. Nice. Nice and sweet, awesome. Okay, so that's pretty good. And now what we need to do is just a couple of small things and then we're already done. Uh, not really much, you know. Um, this is that, this is this, this is that. And you know what I will actually do today? I will actually keep this um, as a little time lapse for the end, you know. I'm gonna bring this in, but I will end my commentary now. The little one really has to sleep. So what I do right now is I'm just going to stop this and you will have a couple of minutes of uh, gameplay. And um, then I'll be back with you uh, as a little voiceover only. Um, that's about it. To say goodbye and have a wonderful day, you know. That's about it. Have a wonderful time uh, with the time lapse now and I talk to you later. So thank you so much for watching today. This is the end of today's episode. As I said, I just made a little bit of a nice um, time lapse and I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did enjoy and you are not subscribed yet, which I know is still half of the people watching, crazy guys, what are you doing? Uh, I would be so happy if you could help me reach this 60K. We are only one point something away from 60K subscribers. That would really, really mean a lot to me. So if you guys enjoy this and you haven't subbed yet, please consider subscribing. That helps me a lot. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. Have a wonderful time now. Greets from Spain and I talk to you in the next one. Have a good one and goodbye.